Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be talking about SCP-1387, Giant Seagull Airlines. Yes, you heard that right, a giant seagull that runs its own airline. This anomaly falls under the object class, Euclid, so you know we're in for a wild ride. Let's dive in and see what this feathered friend has in store for us. SCP-1387 is currently held in Area 55 within a steel reinforced concrete hangar measuring 100 m times 100 m times 30 m. The creature is to be securely held within the hangar using 30 high tension steel cables and must be constantly monitored. A minimum of 10 armed guards must be ready to respond in the event of an escape attempt. Additionally, SCP-1387's wings are to be trimmed once every month. SCP-1387, known as Giant Seagull Airlines, has a unique anomalous effect that occurs every three to five months. The entity will land at the nearest airport to its current location and initiate its primary effect, which involves producing a perceptual illusion. This illusion causes people to perceive SCP-1387 as a regional passenger aircraft. During this state, a group of individuals in the airport, designated SCP-1387-1, will attempt to move towards SCP-1387 and enter its interior. The size of this group typically ranges between 23 and 34 people. Despite attempts to prevent instances of SCP-1387-1 from entering the entity's interior, these efforts have proven to be ineffective. The instances have displayed the ability to find alternative routes or escape any physical restraints. Once all instances of SCP-1387-1 have entered its interior, the entity will take off and fly until it next exhibits its primary effect. Only one instance of SCP-1387-1 has been recovered so far, as detailed in the addendum. Current containment procedures have successfully prevented SCP-1387 from manifesting any of its properties. However, it is important to note that the entity is extremely hostile and actively attempts to breach containment. As of a specific date, SCP-1387 has been classified as Euclid. The primary containment hangar for SCP-1387 is surrounded by a 15-meter high electric fence that is maintained at a charge of 5 kilovolts at 1 ampere. During maintenance, the fence is powered down to 3 kilovolts, and all personnel involved in maintenance must follow standard live-line working procedures. On an unspecified date in 2008, an instance of SCP-1387-1, identified as Jonathan was found in, redacted, and brought to Site-101. An interview was conducted with SCP-1387-1 upon arrival. During the interview, Dr. O asked SCP-1387-1 to state his name and questioned him about a specific date in 1990s. SCP-1387-1 recalled going to the airport, boarding a plane, and then seeing a flock of birds outside the window. He then recalled the disappearance of the other passengers, being back at the airport, and later waking up in a police station before being taken to Site-101 by the Foundation. SCP-1387-1 mentioned seeing a woman with beautiful green eyes and expressed hope of seeing her again. Three months after being taken into Foundation custody, SCP-1387-1 went missing from his cell at Site-101, and a search found no trace of him. 